Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I love using leftovers, and today I've actually got some leftover baked potatoes, and I've actually got some leftover brisket. So let's put these two together and make some brisket double baked potatoes. The hard part is done. We've got these already baked. So what we're gonna do first is take them and uh, get all the beautiful potato out of them. All we're gonna do is cut these guys in half. Boop. Because the potato is actually gonna be the serving vessel for this. Now, all we're gonna do is scoop it out. So you gotta be a little bit careful because you wanna keep the whole skin intact because you want that as your bowl. So just take your time and scoop out the potato. That hard part is done. So they're nice and empty now. I've got basically as much as I can out into the bowl. Let's just do the other prep first and then we're gonna actually make the filling for these bad boys. So I've got this lovely brisket. You guys know I love using leftover brisket. So we're gonna just chop this up nice and small to go on the potatoes. And one treat, I found some cold smoked bacon ends. We're gonna dice this up as well and uh, fry them off and use them as well. And I found just enough cold smoked cheese I have. It's a aged white cheddar. We're gonna grate this up. Mm. We're gonna fry off the bacon first and then when I have the hot plate out here, we're gonna actually get the cream and butter hot and mix it into the potatoes. There we go, you hear that sizzle? So I got a little sauce put on here and what we're gonna do, we are actually using whipping cream for this. I want this really buttery, luxurious, that filling, oh, it's gonna make a big difference. You could use just regular milk. I had this, so I'm gonna use it. So we're gonna get this in here. Look how smooth that looks, nice. I am gonna use real butter. I'm going all out. You're not gonna eat like a hundred of these, but what I love doing, I love making a big batch of roasted garlic and then just throw it in the freezer. So I'm gonna take a chunk out, throw that in there as well. Nice low to medium heat. We don't wanna cook this, we just need to heat it up and get everything incorporated. So you got a little bit of steam coming off, that's okay. Everything looks nicely melted and combined now. There's gonna be no right or wrong amount here. I'm gonna just add it enough liquid till I get the consistency I want. I'm gonna just add some first. I got this where it, basically where I want it. Uh, it is on the thinner side, but that's okay. But it will thicken up when we put it back in the oven. The only thing I could have done if you have a ricer, take your potatoes and put it through that to make them really smooth. Anyways, I'm gonna add a little bit of white pepper. I just like the flavor of white pepper. And we're gonna add a little bit of salt because we haven't salted these. Always taste. Mm, that's good. Okay, got everything we need here. If you don't have a piping bag, use a Ziploc bag. And I don't have anything smaller. So what you're gonna need to do, I'm just gonna do it on here. 
cut the tip of the plastic and start filling these bad boys. You don't want to film too, too full because you still got to put the brisket on and the bacon and cheese. Looks pretty good. Get some brisket on here on each of them. Don't be shy. Load them up good because these things are, you want to really impress your guest. I've made these before, but I never put bacon on them, but I found it and I'm like, yeah, you know what? You're going to get bacon too because brisket and bacon, come on goes together great perfect and now the cheese again don't be shy load them up pretty good okay come on that looks beautiful anyways I've got the oven at 365 so 350 365 you're going to go about 15-20 minutes because you just want to get these heated through and then that cheese nicely melted. So to the oven they go. They're almost done but I almost forgot. We're going to chop up a little bit of chives here nice and fine. It's nice to have that garnish, a splash of color. They are done and look at these beautiful things. Okay, I'm going to just put that there, and we're going to try them right now. I'll throw a few of these guys on. You got to have sour cream with a baked potato, like, come on. That looks good. Let's just dive in. Oh, let's just... All those flavors together... Wow. You get a little bit of that garlic. You definitely get the bacon. You get the brisket in there. That creaminess of the potato. Mm. That cheese. Mm. God, so good. Your guests will love this. You have to do this. This is, mm. well, anyways, I'm going to stop stuffing my face on camera. That is fantastic. You have to do that. Mm. Guys, I hope you like this. I hope you had fun. I want you to try this. It doesn't have to be brisket. Any, any leftover roast, chop it up fine. And uh, do this with your potatoes and your guests will love it. Guys, thanks for watching and uh, happy eating.